Hi everyone, John Dunn here from Cadence with another new V15 feature video. And today we're going to be looking at the new antenna measurements in V15. Antenna measurements in V15 have uh, been new and improved. Uh, we've added a number of measurements. And basically what these measurements uh, do for us is that we can now get numbers on a table, for example, for the directions of things like peak power. And we can not only get the direction of the peak power, we can get the amount of power radiated in that direction. Uh, we can include in that the uh, total power, or if you want, you can just look at the power in a given linear or circular polarization. Now, another important thing that we've added with this, uh, we actually had part of this measurement before, but it's been improved, is we can also, with these new measurements, uh, look at them when we're driving the antenna from circuitry in a schematic, so think power amplifiers. We're going to look at a simple example here to show you how this works. Uh, you're seeing it right here. It's a 4x4 four four patch array, and on the upper right, you are seeing the uh, antenna pattern for a given excitation of that array. Uh, I think it'll go much better if we go into the software. So why don't we go ahead and do that right now? Welcome to V15, a microwave office. And this is the example I just showed you in the slide. If I come up here to the left, uh, you can see here is our 4x4 array. Note the 16 ports. Uh, this example is being carried out in Axiom. Uh, you could do all the same stuff in Analyst. There's nothing about these measurements specific uh, to the EM simulator. Uh, we happen to be using Axiom, which works, of course, quite well for planar arrays. Now, the 16 ports are being driven by a schematic. In our example, in the circuit schematics, here is uh, the driving circuitry. On the right is a harmonic balance port, which is putting in a milliwatt of power. The purple boxes are Wilkinson dividers, so we're repeatedly dividing the input power until we, we reach each element. The green boxes in front of each element are sub-circuits, uh, which actually have inside them a phase shifter, an attenuator, and an amplifier. And then through equations, we can change the various phase shifters and attenuation levels. And so you're steer, you steer the beam as the amount of power and relative phase coming out of each element is changed. Let's take a look quickly at the result, and then I will show you the new measurement. So if we go to the 3D view, I have set up an annotation. And here you see the pattern in 3D. What we'd like to get is the direction, theta and phi direction, of the uh, main beam. And we have the new measurement to do that. I've gone ahead and set that up already. And here you go. It's easiest to see it in a table. On the left axis, uh, vertical axis here, is the uh, frequency. This antenna is designed to work at 2.6 gigahertz. This next column shows 9 degrees is the theta direction, and 90 degrees is the phi direction. Uh, does that agree with what we're seeing? Well, in this measurement, I asked for a cut of the total power radiated at a uh, phi plane of 90 degrees. And you can see it does agree. The x-axis now is the theta and indeed uh, the main power of our beam is at nine degrees. So basically what the new measurements are doing is they're allowing me to very quickly get numbers uh, to see where the, ver uh, the, where the main beam is located. And I can also get the amount of power radiated in it. Uh, the next thing I can do in this is if I wish to, is of course, since I have these numbers, these measurements, and I can assign variables to them, I can now go ahead and um, start optimizing. So for example, I could ask for the various phase and attenuation values to be optimized to get a certain direction.
Well, I hope this gave you uh, an idea into the new capabilities of the antenna measurements. If you have any questions, of course, please feel free to contact us, like always, and uh, we'd be happy to answer them. Hope to see you later. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.